Monica Hannon is a familiar face to thousands of television news viewers in Western North Dakota. She has anchored the number one rated 6 and 10 p.m. newscasts for KFYR-TV for more than 30 years. She's part of the reason that KFYR-TV has always been number one. Monica began her broadcasting career in 1982. News director Dewey Hagen hired her as a field reporter to work at KUMV-TV in Williston, North Dakota. He says the job at a satellite station located on the remote prairie provided her with lots of challenges. Somebody who would drive out from town 10 miles into the country every day through the studio through an occasional blizzard or dust storm and work in some kind of bare bones conditions on your own and of course for very little money. Monica became KFYR's evening news anchor in 1984. She's been keeping television news viewers informed on what's happening in their communities ever since. I think it's impossible to think of KFYR TV, even our call letters, and what we stand for without also thinking of Monica Hannon. As the news director at KFYR, Monica and her staff won three Upper Midwest Regional Emmys in the Best Newscast category. Monica defines local broadcasting and being a journalist first and telling the story and letting the viewers decide. She has been named Best Anchor by the North Dakota Broadcasters Association three times and is also a 10-time winner in the Eric Severide Award in various categories. Congratulations, Monica, on becoming an NDBA pioneer in broadcasting. Monica Hannon is the epitome of the North Dakota Broadcasters Association Pioneer Award. She has faced and dealt with many of the same obstacles and prejudices that the first generation of pioneer female journalists encountered. And she has left a lasting impact on not only the minds of viewers, but also the industry at large. When Monica became the evening anchor at KFYR-TV in 1989, she debuted as the first female to co-anchor the Meyer Television News 6 p.m. show. There was some concern at the time about how Bismarck and North Dakota audiences would react to a woman sharing the news desk with an anchor man. Up until that time, the evening news was strictly the domain of male broadcasters. Their fears turned out to be baseless. Ratings steadily increased with her at the desk, and she began building a valuable and enduring relationship with those who tuned in every night. A relationship which she has only strengthened in the years she's spent in broadcast television. Monica broke more glass ceilings during her career when she became the first female news director at KFYR-TV. She has always been an excellent reporter and one of the best writers I've ever worked with. When writing, I always brought my scripts to her for approval because I knew she would make them better. Monica has mentored many young reporters throughout the years and she has set an exceptional example for how to be an unbiased, professional, and truthful reporter. North Dakota's trust in her is not unfounded, as she has proven time and again that she will maintain journalistic integrity no matter what. Becoming the first female recipient of the North Dakota Broadcasters Association Pioneer Award is fitting for a true trailblazing journalist. Congratulations, Monica. Well done.